Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed some problems on page 68. Today, we are going to discuss the remaining problems on page 68 and 69. The third problem was a homework. Let us discuss it at first. The figure shows two cords drawn on either side of a diameter. What is the length of the other cord? Let us give a name for the cords and the diameter at first. Let the codes be A, B and A, C and let the diameter be A, D. Let O be the center of the circle. From the center, draw perpendiculars to the two codes. Let it meet the codes at P and Q. Now consider these two triangles, that is triangle A, P, O and triangle A, Q, O. O, A is common for both the triangles and it is given that these two angles are equal, that is Angle OAP and angle OAQ are equal. Now we know these two angles are 90 degree because OP and OQ are perpendicular to the codes. Therefore, these two angles are equal. Hence, the third angles of the triangles are also equal. That is, these two angles are equal. Or we can say angle AOP equal to angle AOQ. That means one side and the two angles at the end of this triangle are equal to one side and two angles at the end of this triangle. That means these two triangles are equal. When two triangles are equal, the sides opposite to equal angles are equal. These two angles are equal. The sides opposite to them are AP and AQ. So, we can say AP and AQ are equal. We know the perpendicular drawn from the center to a code bisect the code. That means OP bisects AB or AP is half AB. Similarly, AQ is half AC. AP equal to AQ means half AB equal to half AC. Therefore, AB and AC are equal. That means the length of these two codes are equal. Since AB is 3 cm, AC is also equal to 3 cm or length of the other code equal to 3 cm. Next problem. A code and the diameter through one of its ends are drawn in a circle. A code of the same inclination is drawn on the other side of the diameter. Prove that the codes are of the same length. Let us give a name for the codes and the diameter. Let the codes be AB and AC and let the diameter be AD. Given that the inclination of this code is same as the inclination of this code, that means these two angles are equal. This is same as the previous problem. Only difference is that in the previous problem these angles were given and they were equal. Here the measurements of these two angles are not given but given that they are equal. Let us remember how we have done the previous problem. Let us mark the center as O and draw perpendicular from the center to the codes. Let them meet at P and Q. Now consider these two triangles that is triangle APO and triangle AQO. OA is the common side for both the triangles given that these two angles are equal that is angle OAP equal to angle OAQ. OP and OQ are perpendiculars to the codes therefore these two angles are 90 degree or they are equal. Therefore the third angles of the triangles are equal that is these two angles are equal or triangle AOP equal to triangle AOQ. One side and two angles at the end of this triangle are equal to one side and two angles at the end of this triangle. Therefore, the triangles are equal. That is triangle APO and triangle AQO are equal. When two triangles are equal, the sides opposite to equal angles are equal. These two angles are equal. Sides opposite to them are AP and AQ. Therefore, AP and AQ are equal. AP is half AB and AQ is half AC. Therefore, 
a b and a c are also equal that means the chords are of the same length next problem the figure shows two chords drawn on either side of a diameter how much is the angle the other chord makes with the diameter let us give names for the chords and diameter let o be the center of the circle draw a perpendicular from the center to the chords let the perpendiculars meet the chords at p and q now consider these two triangles triangle apo and triangle aqo given that ab and ac are equal we know ap is half ab and aq is half ac since ab and ac are equal their halves are also equal that means ap equal to aq both these are right angle triangles and oa is the hypotenuse of both the triangles that means the hypotenuse of the two triangles are equal and one more side is equal let it be the base since the hypotenuse and base are equal their altitudes are also equal because altitude is equal to root of hypotenuse square minus base square therefore we can say op equal to oq that means the three sides of this triangle are equal to the three sides of this triangle therefore the triangles are equal that is triangle apo and triangle aqo are equal when two triangles are equal the angles opposite to equal sides are equal these two sides are equal the angles opposite to them are these two angles so these two angles are equal that means angle oap equal to angle oaq since angle oap is 40 degree angle oaq is also equal to 40 degree that is angle the other chord makes with the diameter is 40 degree another problem prove that the angle made by two equal chords drawn from a point on the circle is bisected by the diameter through that point let us draw a figure at first we need a circle and two equal chords drawn from a point and we need a diameter through that common point so let us draw a circle and two equal chords from a point on the circle and the diameter through this point let the chords be ab and ac and let the diameter be ad we have to prove that this angle which is made by the equal chords is bisected by the diameter ad or we have to prove these two angles are equal this is same as the previous problem only difference is that in the previous problem the length of the chords are given and one angle is also given here the length of the chords are not given but given that they are equal let o be the center of the circle draw perpendiculars from center to the chords let them meet the chords at p and q now consider these two triangles they are right angle triangles because op and oq are perpendiculars given that ab and ac are equal chords ap is half ab and aq is half ac since ab and ac are equal their halves are also equal therefore ap equal to aq the hypotenuse of both the triangles is oa let aq be the base of this triangle and let ap be the base of this triangle therefore we can say the hypotenuse and base of this triangle is equal to the hypotenuse and base of the triangle apo therefore their altitudes are also equal because altitude is equal to root of hypotenuse square minus base square so we can say op equal to oq that means the three sides of this triangle are equal to the three sides of this triangle therefore the two triangles are equal that is triangle apo and triangle aqo are equal when two triangles are equal the angles opposite to equal sides are equal these two sides are equal therefore the angles opposite to them are equal that is these two angles are equal or we can say angle oap equal to angle oaq when these two angles are equal we can say ad bisect angle a or 
the angle made by the two equal chords drawn from a point on the circle is bisected by the diameter through that point. Next problem. Draw a square and a circle through all four vertices. Draw diameters parallel to the sides of the square and draw a polygon joining the endpoints of these diameters and the vertices of the square. Prove that this polygon is a regular octagon. Let us give a name for the octagon. Let it be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Let us give name for the point of intersection of the diameters with the sides of the square. Let it be P, Q, R, S. Let O be the center of the circle. Now consider the triangle A, H, P and A, B, P. Given that these two diameters are parallel to the sides of the square. Therefore, this diameter is parallel to this side and BD is perpendicular to BH. Therefore, this diameter is also perpendicular to BH. And we know the perpendicular drawn from the center to a code bisect the code. BH is a code and this diameter is perpendicular to the code. Therefore, it bisects BH or PH equal to PB. Since this diameter is perpendicular to the code BH, these two angles are 90 degree or they are equal. That is angle HPA equal to angle BPA. Now AP is common for both the triangles. That means two sides and angle between them of this triangle are equal to the two sides and angle between them of this triangle. Therefore, the two triangles are equal. That is triangle AHP and triangle ABP are equal. When two triangles are equal, the sides opposite to equal angles are equal. These two angles are equal. The sides opposite to them are AH and AB. Therefore, AH and AB are equal. Similarly, we can prove that the other sides of the octagon are also equal. When we consider these two triangles, PB is half the side of the square and BQ is also half the side of the square. Therefore, they are equal. This diameter is perpendicular to BH and this diameter is perpendicular to BD. Therefore, these two angles are 90 degree or equal. AP is OA minus OP that is radius minus half the side of the square and QC is also radius minus half the side of the square. Therefore, AP and QC are also equal. That means these two triangles are also equal. Therefore, AP and BC are also equal. Just like this, we can prove that all the sides of the octagon are equal. When all the sides of an octagon are equal, we can say it is a regular octagon or ABCDEFGH is a regular octagon. Today, we have discussed problems on page 68 and 69. In the next video, we shall discuss the next section, equal codes. Till then, bye.